Hello gamers, and welcome to my first episode of Retro Quick View, where I skip the detailed specifics and jump straight to the pros, the cons, and finish with my final verdict. For this episode, we'll talk about Resident Evil 4. I'm a die-hard fan of the series, and I think Retro Quick View will be the best way I can give you my honest opinion about this particular Resident Evil game. You'll notice my views are a mix of how I felt back when the game first came out and what I feel about it now. I played almost all versions of RE4, so I won't talk about a specific version. Let's get started. First up, the pros. The visuals were amazing back in the day. The weapon upgrade system is very addicting. I love being able to control the return of one of the series' most iconic characters, Leon Scott Kennedy. And being able to see and play as Ada was a cool throwback. Oh, and seeing Wesker. I miss that guy. One thing I always loved about Resident Evil games is their additional game modes once you beat the game, and RE4 does not disappoint. Whether it's Assignment Ada, Separate Ways, or the Mercenaries, there's a lot of fun to be had. The enemy variety is excellent, from the regular Ganados to the Chainsaw Guy to the amazing variety in bosses, the enemies rarely get tiresome. Next up, THE CONS! From a gameplay perspective, this is not a Resident Evil game. Puzzles have mostly been replaced by more action and honestly, it feels like there aren't any. This one pains me, but Resident Evil 4 is the definition of a generic third-person shooter. With exceptions, this game is not scary. Exceptions being the first time you face the Chainsaw Guy and the Regenerators. I'm not totally against the mechanic of protecting Ashley, as it does add that extra tension, but she does get pretty annoying, and sometimes I wish I was having a strictly solo experience. Now for my final verdict. Resident Evil 4 is, without a doubt, a masterpiece. At the time, there really were no games like it, and it was the first true third-person shooter I remember playing and loving. It's because it was so new to me that at some point it was my favorite Resident Evil game. That said, as years go by, it became lower and lower on my list. There were so many games that tried to do what Resident Evil 4 did that to me, it became more and more difficult to distinguish it from other generic third-person shooters. This is why I disagree that Resident Evil 4 should not currently be remade and that it's perfect the way it is. No, I think it's actually THE Resident Evil game that needs a remake the most with updated graphics and hopefully that Resident Evil gameplay charm with the return of puzzles, and most importantly, backtracking. Thank you for tuning into my first episode of Retro Quick View, and please feel free to agree or disagree in the comments below. Take care, you Nintendo fans and all-around gamers. Enjoy gaming. Guard out.